everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a really huge haul again for you guys. <laughs> They're getting bigger and bigger. Uh, but this is not Salvation Army or Goodwill. This is a estate sale, Fuller's, and some stuff that my friend Corrine grabbed for me um, that she found on Facebook Marketplace. So, um, I'm going to show you the estate sale stuff first because that is the least amount. Um, so, I spent $37 at the estate sale. Um, at Fuller's, I spent $30 although Brenda only wanted to charge me 15, I'm like, no. So I gave her 30. I felt better about myself, at least giving her 30. And of course she yelled at me like she always does, but whatever. Um, and the stuff that my friend Corey got me, I spent $20 on. And she gave me a few things um, from her stash as well. So I have quite a bit here. So let me just start off by saying thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for um, taking the time to watch the videos and subscribe and um, thumbs up are always good. So uh, thank you so much. And of course, welcome back to all of my, my um, current subscribers uh, that come back day in and day out and watch my goofy videos. <laughs> okay, let's get into this haul. Of course, I did forget my black light. So let me grab it and I'll be back. I'm back. Y'all know it would not be a thrill of the thrift video if I didn't forget something. So you may wanna know why do I need my black light? I must have found some glowy stuff. Well, yes, I did. Uh, at the estate sale, I did find one glowy piece. And I found some ridiculously high prices. And left there with very little. So let me show you what I did get. I did grab this little, this is a Madame Alexander doll. Oh, Alexa's going off over there for some reason. I must have a notification. Um, this was exclusively from, for McDonald's. There's the little tag and he is a little ring bearer doll. So apparently this must have come in a Happy Meal. Um, he is really in great condition. You could see on the back of his head, it says Alexander. Maybe you can see. <laughs> but yes. So I grabbed that little guy. Put him over there. Then I got this cute little set of salt and pepper shakers. Now this guy is missing his cork, uh, which I can replace. They look how stinking cute they are. Oh my goodness. Look at their little faces. <laughs> Perfect for fall and Thanksgiving. Absolutely adorable. Then I purchased this little gal. I, she didn't have her partner. And then they put um, the price tag on like um, painter's tape on the front of her. And when I took it off, it pulled the paint off. This little pilgrim girl, she's an oldie. And you could see where the paint got pulled off. And then she does have a little bit of paint loss back here and on her hat. Uh, she is made by Napco Wear. There's her little sticker on the bottom. But I, she was too cute to leave there. And she was one of the cheaply priced items. Trust me, whatever the cheaply priced items were, I got. And 
there weren't many. <laughs> so, I'll lay her down. I got this beautiful Makasa uh, dish, bone china. Uh, it's called Pastel Garden. And it is so, so pretty. There's the mark on the, the back. This was five bucks, but it was so pretty, I had to grab it. I just, you know, it, it is, it is beautiful. So I got it against my better judgment. I got this. This is the um, woodland pattern of Pyrex. It was a hot mess. Uh, Jessica saw it. She goes, oh, she goes, it's all scratched up and everything. I'm like, little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and my Mr. Clean Eraser, and it'll clean right up. And it sure did. It had all like those gray scratches on it. Cleaned right up. So, I got that. And I got, these were a dollar a piece. So, I got these two, which are matching. Oh, dang it. This is Christmas. I can't show you guys. You know what? I'm just going to show it because there's not much from this sale that I got. I got these two. It's called Winter Song. Susan Winget. And then I got these two with um, the Cardinals. Very, very pretty. All right, let me just set these over here under this other um, dish because I need some room here. Okay, the last item that I got at this sale, yes, you heard it right, the last item. I told you I hardly got anything. This was $5, and I should have brought... Um, a light bulb to test it out because I did not. But you know what? I'm going to get a light bulb real quick because there's one right here in the hall closet. And I shall plug her in over here. It's the original plug. But it looks to be in good shape, so. And it works. If I could get it in the plug the right way, well, whatever, it works. I can't push it in the plug, the plug's too far away. So, I got this lamp. It has the little pull chain. Mm hmm. And it glows. I knew it was going to glow. That's why I bought it. And I didn't even bring my uh, my light with me, but I just could tell by looking at it. I had a feeling. So I got that. And uh, that was it. That was it from, oh, I'll just leave the bulb in there, from uh, the estate sale. Um, I had was telling people in my live sale this past Saturday that I actually said to the woman that was part of the estate, it was a family run sale. I said, you know, I'm, I'm just telling you this. I'm not trying to be a smart ass or anything. I said, but I do, I do resell. I said, and the prices that you have most of your stuff marked, um, people are not going to pay. I said, it's, it's really, really, really high. I said, and I hate to see you not get rid of stuff, you know? 
but you know, she just kind of looked at me like, uh, you know, well, you know, it's none of your business. You have a lot of nerve and she, she's probably right. But I was just trying to help her out. You know, I, I wouldn't want to have to pack all this stuff up and, you know, bring it to the donation place or pack it back up and keep it or whatever, you know. But it is what it is. And hopefully, you know, they did sell some, but I don't really think they did. <sighs> okay. Now, let me show you what Corrine uh, grabbed for me. She's on Facebook Marketplace like 24-7. <laughs> and she will drive to Timbuktu to get something if she likes it, okay? <laughs> I, on the other hand, y'all know I don't drive on the thruway or anything like that. So I miss out on a lot. But she's got her eyes peeled for me. So <laughs> that's, you know, that's cool. And we, you know... Well, uh, I'll get things for her, and she'll grab things for me, so it works out pretty good. Hey, Cor. <laughs> but anyways, so she gave me this book. Uh, she said she got it on accident. Somebody sent it to her with something else or something to that effect. Now, it is a very old vintage golden book. Uh, the copyright is, and it's in really fantastic condition except for one thing. This is 1950. Um, all the graphics, there's no drawing or, you know, scribbling in it or anything. Um, not even to, not even where uh, it has, this book belongs to. There's nothing written there either. However, the back of the book is gone. You know, it, it up and went. So, somebody could still use this if they wanted to for, you know, um, scrapbooking, junk journaling, whatever, because every picture is in excellent condition. So she gave me that. And she also gave me two fantastic cookbooks that were her grandmother's, I believe she said. Um, this one, The American Woman's Cookbook. And these are in like phenomenal shape. Look at it has the tabs like a dictionary. And this is, oh, look at, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Um, let me see what the copyright is. Culinary Arts Institute, Chicago, 1951. So, certain parts of this book protected by the following previous copyrights. But this particular... Uh, book is 1950 and look at <laughs> look at that let's get some more oh my gosh I just passed an amazing picture now I won't be able to find it where is it where oh there it is oh dear look at that cake so this book is in fabulous condition and and it's heavy <laughs> and she gave me this one and i love the color of these books cooking for young homemakers it's got the tabs again and it's um, by menu. So we have soup and bread, uh, sandwich and snacks. I mean, it's all, oh my goodness. Look at the graphics in this. Wow. You know that's from the 50s. Holy cow. Let's see what it says. 1964. 1964. This one, the copyright is 1962. But um, again, excellent condition. It's got a lot of black and white photos. Look at the graphics. <laughs> Trying to see if there's any color photos. This one uh, is all black and white pictures. Oh no, here's one. So, 
So yeah, very cool book. Look how thick that is. Wow, that's a lot of cooking. Oh dear, pardon me. That is a heavy one. So, and then I think she also gave me this bowl because she showed it to me when I was over there and I left it behind. Um, this is like a diamond point. Really nice serving bowl. Look how pretty that is. Wow, that would look beautiful with some candied yams in there with the marshmallows that are all toasty on top. Can you guys tell I'm obsessed with food? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I don't know if this was included in the $20 from this man, but look at this gorgeous vase. This is that pineapple pattern that I showed y'all in one of my um, videos a couple, a few back. I had bought the sugar bowl um, because I, I know that I will find a creamer that matches it. Um, I have the same set myself, but it's the same pattern. And this is a beautiful vase. I don't know who makes the pineapple pattern. I would have to look it up. For some reason, I'm thinking maybe Anchor Hocking, but I'm not positive. But that is a beautiful vase. Very sparkly. <laughs> Where do you see this next item? <laughs> this is not something that I would normally pick up. I don't know if this is from Corey or from the guy. <laughs> Look at this. Holy cow. This thing is humongous. And obviously it's, you know, maybe they used to pour wine out of it or something. It's got to be made in India. That's my thought. It doesn't say on the bottom where it's made. So I have no idea. But I definitely, I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> and I'm having a hot flash. So my glasses are fogging up on the bottom. Can you see that? <laughs> Holy crap. Look. <laughs> oh, dear. Guys, pardon me. Oh, oh! Keep coming. The breeze from my kitchen window. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, sorry, guys. Alrighty. Oh, we. Okay. Well. I got this. This is really neat. Now, this is the actual finish on it. And I just think that this is so cool. It looks like tarnished silver. But that is the, the actual paint that they used on this. And I think it is fabulous. No maker's mark on it, but I just, I've never seen anything like it. Very, very cool piece there. Um, okay, I have this little uh, carnival glass bowl. Probably like a berry bowl. Let me show you the pattern. It's It looks like... Um, it looks like some kind of a lily or something. I'm not quite sure. So 
So that was in there. Oof. Uh, okay. Now, this, it has one little, it's got a couple little boo-boos on the points, which is to be expected because it's, it, it's, it's an old piece. Um, but these points, some of them have some little boo-boos, like you could see on this one, there's a, little chip is that is it that one no this one there's a little chip there so I mean naturally you're gonna have some little like this one there's a chip there but for the most part it's in you know great condition I'm assuming it's like a candy dish or something and I really, I don't know what this pattern is, but I think it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I don't know the, the pattern. I'm going to have to look it up because this is the same pattern. Let me show you this. My friend Corey has this exact bowl. And um, look at it. It has like flowers on it. Um, but it's, it's really neat. She's, um, she had some of the vintage, um, beaded fruit that people made with, uh, the pins and the beads. And she got one of these to put the fruit in and it looks fabulous. So, and this is in really fantastic condition. Again, you know, there are some areas that have, you know, little minor flea biting, you know, but great piece, great piece. Um, and also is a candy dish. No cracks or chips on this piece at all. And it looks to be like the same, they're all the same pattern. So I, I don't know. I got to look this pattern up. If I find it, I will uh, leave it in the video for you. But that's pretty. And then we got this. A canoe. Oh my God. You remember I had the cobalt one that I sold in a live sale not long ago. Well, here is another one. But this one's a little bit different. It is rounded on this end and pointed on this end, where the other one I sold was pointed on both ends. And it's a different, uh, I think it's a different pattern, but I'm not positive. But it does have like daisies here, but I don't think this, this is, I don't know if this is daisy, but, daisy and button. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but very, very cool piece. So that was the stuff that I got from, uh, from Corey. I'm so thirsty, guys. Okay. Now, now we get to Fuller's. Oh, boy. Wow. Did I get a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's just start with this little simple pair of ice tongs. I pick these up a lot of times when I see them because if I if I find, you know, vintage um, ice buckets, a lot of the times the tongs are missing. And I like to sell them with a set of tongs. So I will pick these up when I find them. Uh, I also got this towel. It's a, uh, actually a double towel, you know, handmade. Somebody uh, crocheted the top on there and you, you know, put it around your uh, handle on your cupboard. But this one is missing a button, so I don't know how that would go. But whatever. 
<laughs> Just grab a twist tie and twist tie it. <laughs> the handle. <laughs> That'll work. <coughs> I really just got it so I could wrap a couple things up. <laughs> and um, this is a Christmas towel that I did use for the same purpose. So I'm not going to show that. <laughs> all right. Then I got a bunch of plate stands. Um, all They're all wooden in all different shapes and sizes. I got those. I got these. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. I have to shut the video off because I'm about to swear. Okay, I have composed myself. So, I was showing these. And I dropped one on something and broke it, which I will show you what that was when I'm done showing these. This one's a really nice one. Then there's this one. And this is the last one. So, got all of those. So, um, <laughs> she had this set of salt and pepper shakers and one of them was damaged, but I bought them anyway because they are so stinking cool. So we have this guy. Japan. And his wife. Now, she had a pair of glasses that were broken off. The whole tops of her glasses were broken off. So all that was left was a piece on her nose and a little bit over here. So what I did was I got rid of most of this and I'm just going to paint over it with flesh colored paint. And she'll be like good as new. That was the only issue until I dropped one of these and broke off her tie here. So I just glued it back on. But what a cool set those are. Aren't those awesome? Oh my word. After I paint her face, I'll insert a picture in here and I'll show you. So, yes. Never fails. I buy stuff and I break it myself. <laughs> I got this because it's absolutely beautiful. And um, this was um, for a little baby named Anna who was born in 19, or 2003. And it is this gorgeous, precious moment, baptism, or, uh, yeah, baptism piece. And you hang it on the wall. And I, it's just beautiful. I couldn't, I had to get it. So I got that. This is so cool. Look at you guys. How cool is this? And it's left in. And it's a little trinket dish. But it looks like a mask, you know? That's at least that's what it looks like to me. Now, the only issue it has is it's missing one petal off of the little pansy flower. But, yeah, I had to grab that. I think it's so cool. Found a little Wade figurine still in the bag, so I snatched that. 
I got these clips for my hair. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I like those. Those are pretty cool. Those are some huge clips. Those are some huge clips. Wow. When you guys see this, you're going to be like, oh my God, I remember that stuff. I remember it as happy feet, not happy face. I didn't know they made the cream for the face. Look at that. The Tony Company, Chicago, Illinois. Directions, smooth on, happy face. Massage in a little water to whip up a light, creamy froth. Rinse with water and towel dry. The creamy new way to wash your face. Washes without drying, moisturizes like a non-greasy cream. <laughs> I remember my grandmother had this, but it was to use on your feet, and it was called Happy Feet. The jar, like the label, I love it. And it is a milk glass um, jar. So, had to grab that. I got these two cobalt blue uh, votive uh, holders. Uh, this one has some kind of rough stuff on here. I mean, it is coming off. I don't know what the heck it is. No idea, but it does come off. So it would have to be like scraped off or whatever. But I just thought they were really pretty. So I got those. You know how I am with the cobalt stuff. And boy, did I hit the cobalt blue mother load at Fuller's on this day. Here is a votive holder. And she actually had it uh, sitting inside this. She had this in here, but it doesn't really, I mean, you could sit it like that, but I don't trust it. So I had one of these sitting in here and it fits like really well. You just have to make sure the glass is centered. Very cool. Okay. Then I got this adorable little monk figurine. It is Japan. We're going to get a heck of a storm. It is so windy out. That's why I didn't do this haul video out on my porch. Because everything would have been blown all over the place. You can hear my wind chimes going bonkers. Look how cute he is. His little bald head. <laughs> He's so cute. Then I got this little, this was made in Occupied J Japan. It's a little shoe planter. Excellent condition. No cracks, no chips. Lots of crazing. Which I love. I don't care about crazing. I got this, um, this brooch. I do not see a name on it. I just thought it was pretty. And you don't often find them in brown. But look how pretty that is. They would look beautiful on a cream colored top or a, a scarf or a hat. Very, very pretty. Oh, it's a raining. Then I got this set. And these are also in excellent condition. Um, there is not a sticker on them, but I'm sure they are Japan pieces. Look at how pretty those are. Beautiful, just gorgeous.
This is beautiful. I love this creamer and sugar. Isn't that beautiful? It's a pour now. Mm -hmm. You might want to wait. <laughs> so this is uh, Pepper Tree Tea Wear. Uh, made in China, but it is gorgeous. And I got this one, and this one is made by um, James Kent. Staffordshire, England, and it is called La Rosa. La Rosa. Isn't that pretty? I love the open sugar bowls. See you later. Say bye to everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, then I got this. Now, I, I say, I asked somebody else that was in there that this says 1949, the date on here. So you guys let me know. First, let me show you. It is a shoe. And here is the date on the bottom. You tell me what you think that says. Trying to get it to where you can see it. I don't know. But anyways, let me know your thoughts. Is it 1949? Because that's what it sure looks like to me. This is an awesome piece. And he is intact. He is made in Japan. Look at him. He is awesome. Let me show you sideways so you can see his whole outfit. He's got his guitar. Very, very cool piece. I love that. Then I got this, uh, this little shoe. This would look adorable with an air plant in it, for sure, or a succulent. No markings on the bottom. But it has all of its uh, petals except the very tip of this one. The very tip. Then I got this. This is Avon. Uh, a royal elephant, and it has it had... Charisma Cologne in it. I've never seen one of these before. That's very cool. Um, I did get a few linen pieces. I will show you those. I got this one. Show it to you like that. a little uh like a little dresser scarf then I got this this is a set so I have two of these I gotta wash them and iron them here's the other one so I got those I got this. This is a set as well. There's two of these. These are little. I don't know if they um, these were put on like the arms of chairs or sometimes they would put them on the back. Uh, so because back then men wore like grease in their hair and stuff and they didn't want it to get all over the furniture. So they would put things like this uh, where you would rest your head on and hopefully not get it on the furniture. So, got those. This is beautiful. 
it feels like silk. Now, I don't know if it's silk, but it sure feels like it. I guess it was, it's probably a hanky. It's gorgeous. No stains or anything on any of these. This one does have a little bit of a rust stain on it. Let me show you. See the little stain right there? Let me show you. Oh, but you can see it better on the other side. There it is. Just on that corner. But yeah, it's really a pretty hanky. And then there was this whole bag of men's handkerchiefs. There's 12 of them in the package and they're all, it's brand new, sealed, white handkerchiefs. So I picked those up. All right, I got this. This is um, a perfume I got, but it looks like lipstick. So I got it to go in my lipstick holder that is on my, my little vanity in my bedroom. But it's actually, um, there was perfume in it. And it says, uh, what does it say? Hold on. My, <laughs> my sin, my sin. I can't read, I didn't bring my magnifying glass. Something New York, something incorporated New York. I know you can't see that. I got, this is a beautiful, oh my gosh, I love the colors on this. This is uh, Maito China, hand-painted, made in Japan. And I know my girl, um, Tiger, is going to flip her cookies because it's purple. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just gorgeous. Love that. Love, love, love that. Purple is one of my favorite colors as well. I have a lot of colors that I like, but my favorite colors are like uh, blues and teals, you know, like the greens, the mint greens, purple. Those are the colors that I really like. All right. Oh my goodness. I got a lot of blue stuff today, you guys. Lots. And a lot of it is um, blue willow. First, let me show you these, these dishes. Hold on. show you this first. This is hand painted. Look at this beautiful plate. It's signed as you could see right there. Beautiful. Uh, you can hang it up. It has the holes here to string a piece of wire or string to hang it up. So I got that. Um, this is absolutely, oh, found another one. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the Collector Series by J.H. Weatherby and Sons Limited. Um, look at this picture. Isn't that stunning? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this plate. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, I holy crap. I like, I want to keep it. It's so beautiful. 
just, oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. Polly's Projects has me into the blue now. It's all her fault. Okay, I got a set of these. Well, wait a minute now. Let me make sure that I know these are different. Okay. So I there's two of these, I think. These are Courier and Ives. I have to wash them. I sold these before. The Homestead in Winter. Then we have the Home in the Wilderness. I think these are so pretty. Beautiful. Now these are um, Blue Win Royal Blue Winter China. Um, so we have Christmas of 1970. Christmas 1971. Christmas 1972. And then here is another uh, of the Courier and Ives. This one is the Old Homestead in Winter again. Now, is this one different than that one? Let me see. Or is it the same thing? No, it's different. So there's there's three. There's I think there's four to the set, but I only have three. They all got to be washed because they are filthy. Okay, so let's see. A lot of these are mixed up. I got them because they're just beautiful accent pieces. So we have this beautiful, this is Liberty Blue Historic Colonial Scenes, the Old North Church. So this is actually a saucer, but there was no cup. But I still thought it was gorgeous and would look pretty on a shelf. So I picked that up. Wow. It's hailing. This weather is nuttier than nuts. You can hear it hitting my awning outside my kitchen window. Um, this is a Shenango China. This is also a saucer. I have more of the, um, the Liberty Blue. There's these two. Now these are just little like bread plates. They're the size of a saucer, but they don't have the indent uh, for a cup. They're a little bit bigger than the saucer. Here, let me show you the saucer. So it would be like a bread plate or a dessert plate. Then I got this one. This one's really pretty. This one's called the English Village Japan. Oh, UPS, probably coming here. <laughs> Let me grab this coffee. <laughs> oh, this is so dirty. This one is Yorkville Blue, Japan. Hey, Fritz. Just put the package in the bin. <laughs> all right. So I believe that these are all Blue Willow. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. These are like uh, soup or cereal bowls. 
and they are all in excellent condition. Uh, this has a manufacturing um, defect right here where the color did not take on the end. So as I said, I have six of these and none of them are chipped or anything. They're in excellent condition. Uh, then I got this plate. Oh, this is so beautiful. Never a Christmas morning, never the old year ends. But someone thinks of someone, old days, old times, old friends. Merry Christmas. And it is a, uh, it, it is Robert Lasig is the signature on here. And look at that. Isn't that a, look at that plate. Just gorgeous. It is a Winter Scene Series uh, painting by Robert Lasig, a commemorative edition. And that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous plate. Okay, so let me just move these out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna set them on the floor here because I have a bunch of cobalt blue stuff to show you guys. Let me bring, all right, let's start. These bottles are like so stinking cool. I don't know how old these are. Now, there is no cork in here. However, I bought that, um, Thing that I thought was a stopper for a bottle, but it, it apparently it is actually a lamp finial. It kind of fits, but it's the wrong color blue. It's a different color blue, but it does look cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a different color blue, but whatever. I just had to try it because you know how I am. All right, then we have this beautiful cobalt blue vase. Very, very pretty. We have this one. I think these are on the old side. Look at these bottles. There's nothing on the bottom. Oh my God, they're so awesome. Look at this one. Yeah, these are old. Look at the bottom of this one. These are amazing. Wow. Amazing. I, she had them in the window. And as I was walking up, I'm like, oh, got to grab those right now. As soon as I walked in, I said, well, first off, I want all those cobalt bottles out of the window. <laughs> Then I got this gorgeous, look at this, yes. It doesn't have a wick in there, but that, you know, you can buy them, I guess, online. Oh my goodness. And then I got some, some plates, oh dear. All this stuff I have to wash, so. I got, uh, I got an ashtray. This is a cobalt ashtray. As you can see, I have to wash it. There's no marking on there. I got this little, um, you know what? Th you could use this as a candle holder. Put a pillar candle in there. That would be awesome. Uh, actually, this, I sold one of these recently. This had a clear lid that went on top. But since the lid's missing, you could turn it the other way and use it as a candle holder. Then I got this pretty dish. There's two of these. 
These are old. I got this one. And it has that uh, pebbly texture on the back. And then I got this one. Isn't that pretty? And this goes with uh, these, I think. Yes. So it's like th the three-piece set. So I'm thinking like this is just like a small cake plate. And these are actually uh, saucers, but there are no cups. So it was probably the cup and the saucer, the two cups and the two saucers, and like the little uh, cake or cookie plate. Could be a cookie plate. So. That is a heck of a haul, if I do say so myself. That is everything, everyone. I have everything cleared out of my living room. Yay! Now it's just in boxes all over the floor in my eBay room because I have no shelf space left for anything. Oh my goodness, but I have to keep buying because once I have my shoulder surgery, it's going to be a lot harder for me, you know, to shop and carry things. So, you know, I'm trying to do as much now as I can. So that is it, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling these bottles, these three bottles that I have. Um, I, might keep, I might keep those for myself, but I will be selling the vase and the lamp and all of the other uh, dishes and everything else. Everything else I will be selling. So... Uh, yeah. Oh, I, and I'm keeping, I think I'm keeping my little Avon elephant. So, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this haul video. Do y'all like cobalt blue glass like I do? And, you know, would you have bought the things that I bought? Let me know in the comments. I would really, I love reading the comments. So, um, definitely leave me some comments. Um, so, um, I don't know if I'm going to get this video, video out today, which is Monday. Um, but in case I do, I am doing a sale this evening at five o'clock Eastern time with Tammy from Vintage Uprising, Texas. And it's going to be on her channel. And again, it's at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see everybody there and uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next one, bye for now.